Something I didn't expect when testing around with set 11 was how much I would end up enjoying the duelist trait. In concept, the trait is extremely simple. Every duelist gains attack speed with every attack, up to a maximum of 12 stacks. With 6 or 8 duelists, you also receive some additional damage reduction to make your units more tanky. While the trait itself is not complicated, there are extremely fun variations I want to showcase that go beyond just rushing for 8 duelists. For starters, let's talk about one of my absolute favorite comps in the game right now, Cocaine Bear. As it turns out, Volley Bear might be the best user for the porcelain emblem in the game, as the trade gives a ton of bonus attack speed and damage reduction after every cast. Volley Bear is effectively perma casting, so yeah, you can expect to have a constant uptime for this effect. With the help of the emblem, all you need to do is collect Amumu, Lux and Ash, and you can run a setup consisting of 4 Duelist and 4 Porcelain in the mid game. If you manage to find 2 Titans Resolve for Volibear, he will become unstoppable. From here, you can either roll for Volibear 3 star or use the power spike for tempo and rush for levels to either include more duelists or potentially 6 porcelain as your win condition. While getting the emblem twice is rare, since it is craftable, it is not completely out of reach. It is definitely worth going for, because Volibear will truly become a menace. I've seen this unit destroy entire teams by himself and if you ever watch the full setup in action, you will regret simply dumping your tank items on him and always go for the Tristana carry. Sometimes you will also encounter games where you will find one porcelain emblem and one duelist emblem which allows you to field at least six duelists and benefit from even more damage reduction. It doesn't hurt that Ash is also a great user for the duelist emblem since her ability scales with more auto attacks. If you open with a spatula region or see an early porcelain emblem in your augment selection, this is usually a comp worth aiming for. I mean, it's not perfect and facing an enemy Lissandra can definitely mess you up, but this is where positioning can often make a difference. While most games you will end up with 4 porcelain and 6 duelists, if you ever manage to reach 6 porcelain, then the game should be heavily in your favor since this trait is massively overtuned. Not only is it granting crazy amounts of attack speed, but also a 60% damage reduction. For the next duelist setup, we will require a very specific augment called Fine Vintage. This is a very powerful silver augment that transforms items on your bench into a support anvil after 3 rounds. This gives you access to items like Zika's Herald, Locket of the Iron Solari, Banshee's Whale or Aegis of the Legion. All of these items grant powerful effects to your team and are extremely easy to abuse. Outside of Tristana and Aurelia, every duelist is a melee frontliner and even Tristana can simply join them in the front frontline as she will jump back to safety after her first cast. This means stacking aura items is extremely easy and allows you to roll over your enemies in the mid game. It is almost impossible to open a support anvil with bad choices in this comp, so you can effectively sacrifice all of your items to gain access to the more powerful support items. This also means you will never get punished for win streaking as your pick order in the carousel barely matters since you will transform your items anyway. Though at some point it does make sense to go for some normal items either for Volibear or for Tristana. For example, Tristana makes great use out of 80 items like Last Whisper, Infinity Edge, Gunblade or Hurricane and she is still a powerful carry that shouldn't be neglected. This playstyle has already proven itself to be incredibly effective in older sets where Zika or Locket stacking was often a menace to deal with in Ranked since it allowed players to secure themselves an easy top 4 with the mid game power spike. And it wouldn't be a video about support items if I didn't mention the power of Zephyr. While aura items are great, adding a few Zephyrs to your comp is never a bad idea. Your team not only receives bonus attack speed, you can also get rid of either the enemy main tank or create a hole in the enemy frontline to open up a path straight into the enemy carry. So if you ever spot Fine Vintage as your first augment, I can heavily recommend going for this playstyle as it's not only incredibly effective, it's also a ton of fun to play when everything comes together. What is your favorite duelist carry in the game so far? Let me know in the comments. I hope you learned something and see you next time. Okay, now he's in danger. And we repeat this every single round.